Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, we're doing another defense replay video. We're still using a resource trap, uh, but that will probably have to change map-wise, especially since we're getting a lot more Henriettes or uh, double uh, save ball skills, right? Uh, but anyways, that's a uh, enough flower for now. I would like to thank everyone that played into my defense. I wish you guys the best. Hope you did well. And if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below, right? Um, and with that, I will go ahead and get started. So let's see. First, let's go to our defense results. Oof. <laughs> oh man, we're doing very bad. Very, very, very bad. Uh, as you can see that. Let's start off with Marianne 1, right? Here we have all six bottom rows. Uh, we have Regan Naga at plus one. We also have Claude at plus five. OG Marianne plus ten. Maria and Altina at plus two. So let's replay this. Let's see how they do. They're using Marianne, of course, to take on Lyft on the front side. Oh, I apologize. I forgot to add on animations. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Let me add also uh, the basic sounds, right? Let's replay this. So one more time. Here we go. Well, we know what the first turn doing, right? So here it looks like they're going for a sack play, but I don't really like that play style, um, especially the Vault of Heaven. I I don't really. It's it's okay. Sometimes it's necessary in order to win, um, but. You must keep in mind that in, uh, in this in this area, Vault of Heaven, there is a bonus you get for having all of your units available. So if you lose even one of your units, even if you have the bonus, you will be losing on the full team clear bonus, which is uh, different. What I'm talking about, usually if you bring the bonus attack unit, it procs you score, right? To, 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 it protects you from losing a unit, right? But uh, the bonus comes into play when you're at this level of play. And since you have to worry about it, it becomes very competitive. So every point really counts here. So every single merge, every single unit you don't lose, uh, every single pot, it it just becomes very important. Um, but here they... Yeah, they only lost one unit. Do they get the pods on the backside? Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, Marianne is so powerful. She gets a lot of buffs from all this. Uh, she hits hard. She hits fast. And she has the bulk to withstand some of these things. Oh, but here, yeah, they're just, they're probably just going to get ahead to play for stuff. It would have been safer to move Claude up to spaces and just destroy the fountain instead of going one up and one left. Mm. Bran can take on this, which is really impressive to me. And yeah, it, they they just get everything. They clean up, nice job, and then yeah, good games to this player. But you guys were able to see that this team might be falling off a little bit, unfortunately. <clears throat> there was a lot of failures, but I got kind of lucky. Uh, 
in in a way. Here they're actually using the defense skate. They have Niffle. They also have Regan. And they're using uh yeah, they're using double saves. With Edelgard and Hector. And they're pretty good options, not gonna lie. And have a Shira and Camilla. Let's see. Looks a little bit risky, especially since they're risking Celica. Uh, Hector versus Celica. This is a very tough matchup for Hector. But uh, he is able to survive this, as well as Celica. Oh man. And oh, here Veronica is being danced, so. If Veronica had not been danced, she might have actually. Uh, Oh, that was so close. Yeah, this should kill Liv, probably. Ooh, very close. Uh, I might go for the dual special hero banner soon to patch up one of his uh, fl his flaw and have it a plus one just for the extra five bonus stats. Always nice to have. And Lyft, surprisingly, does not get to go through all of this damage. Good damage reduction. Honestly. Whoa. Even with his special, Aeol Guard is just too much. And this is bonus Lyft. This is his bonus season right now. And I believe he has life and death three on his A slot, so he's extra offensive right there. But it's unfortunate he's not able to do that in particular. And here we have Mirabilis is attacking there because of the five damage rule. So for those of you that may not know, um, if a dancer has an option of attacking someone or dancing, she will only attack if she can do five or more damage to another unit without taking into account damage reduction, right? Uh, that is, if she did five damage uh, before damage reduction, so if flame, which reduces damage by 30% is near an ally, um, it would in reality hit like three, right? instead of five, but the, the predictions shows that she would originally hit five, or more. And that's what happened right there. And here it kind of looks like, um, yeah, cleanup at this point. I would probably just use Veronica's bait. Yeah, and they get everyone. Niffle is still an interesting character and very strange that it's not mythic. Um, but, as a matter of fact, we just recently got Micaiah. A lot of people had been waiting for that, so, very happy for them. Uh, hope you enjoy her. Hopefully she's incredibly good for everyone to use, and, yeah. That's the gist of things. At this point, we're waiting. This is, a an interesting game. But uh, so, uh, without taking into account save ball, they're very offensive. Usually save balls prioritize being extremely bulky, and the uh, surrounding allies are supporting the save ballers in some regard. At least that is my main approach to it. And you give them the maximum potential to survival attacks, or tank better per se, right? That, that's my take on that. But here, Regan I understand. Um, but Camilla I think is an extra that is not ex really necessary. Since they have the healing tower on the bottom lane, they can- that, that's their healer, in my perspective. And yeah, they probably just get the p two pots here and then they can just uh, clean up on Eldigan. Yes! Huh, this man resisted till the very end. <laughs> Glad I invested into him so much. But uh, that's okay. 
And with that, we can go into the next player, Chiku. So how did they do? Three foes defeated. Hmm. I, I wouldn't take that. But might be enough to get into Vault of Heaven. So here we have Regan, of course. Katarina, plus zero. Plumeria OG, plus zero. Linja, plus zero. And Tiki, plus zero. So there are a lot of duo units here. And they're going straight in for the kills. Is this a Gale Force team? It looks like a Gale Force team, potentially. Especially since Katarina is being hit for so much, and a lot of those units seem prepared for that. Here they clean up Anselica, surprisingly. She has a lot of bulk and does a lot of damage, but she was not able to resist that, unfortunately. <laughs> that attack sound from Tiki is a little bit weird, but I'll take it. Here, Naga should not be able to kill Eldigan because he has this courtly candle. Oh, yes. So the reason that Carly Candle um, is very good for situations like this is that how it works is if he, if the user gets doubled, the first hit is going to be reduced by 50% if they have more than 50% of their HP. So what you saw right there is that the first get ha uh, got reduced by 50% itself. And yeah. After this, it seems they were not able to get all the units, and they lost a few here. Yeah. Yeah, wait, does this kill Tiki? Yeah. That seems to be three units down. But I believe they took it from what is shown. That's actually smart. They pushed in Lynn so she can go in, and so Sarah's is not in their range. They just move her to kill Veronica first, and then Mirabilis, which puts her out of range. Also, it's strange to see Blue Flame. It's... it's okay, honestly. So, for her, her, like, Blue Flame is a great skill, yes, but... I believe Linja would appreciate Moombo much more since she would trigger it twice in a single round of combat instead of once every time, potentially. I don't think so. And there we go. Yeah, they cleaned up without getting either pot. I would have not taken that, but they did bit the team. So, good games. Chiku, then we have Galadria. Let's see. So they have all the full bottom structures. They have two armors here. Regina, whoa, uh, oh, plus one. Alphonse, dual Alphonse, plus one. Plumeria OG, plus two. Fatal Guard, Linja, and the uh, Fatal Guard. That is Brave Fatal Guard, by the way. Just in case. And, oh, they're risking it all to go in and try to kill Veronica. Unfortunate. That was a gamble from them. I would have not personally taken that, but... If it... If they're going for the sack play, I would have understood. And... I, I see why you would think this is a... This is a fake trap. But... Since it is Ragged season, I I would have ex possibly expected something like that, right? Hmm. Yeah, and here's Selica just kills Ragged. Selica is an incredibly powerful unit, so I suggest you use her if you can, especially in a save ball team. Although those are not very common anymore, it might come a thing in the future. So, good games to you, uh, both 
uh, Galadrian Japanese player. Wait, um, then we have Lendis Forever. Huh. Here we could see Plumeria OG at plus three. Brave Hector at plus ten with Blaine, and Brave Hector has far save. We have Ragan at plus seven. Naga at plus 10, and Gustav at plus 1. So they have duo saves here, too. And this is one of those losses for us. So they're going in to kill Liv, since that is a major... It's probably the most oppressive unit in this team, uh, after Celica. A lot of these units are very, very powerful. And, wait, I don't quite understand, um, that proc the gate, even though it can only proc in the first two columns, I'm kind of confused, actually. Until turn one of activation, the activation had started defensive, and running parties outside the defensive team's range, or is within two rows, outside the defensive team's range, within two rows or second call etc oh outside of the team's range that was smart i had no idea that that was one of the other conditions i had to understand that it would be protected if you were in the one of these two rows but apparently it also procs if you're outside of the attack range of the enemy so that's why they could do that and after this, this is just easy cleanup. Uh, especially with save ball. And since they know they're not gonna be hit from the back line, that, that makes sense. Celica is dead here, so there's no way we can potentially kill that uh, Brave Hector. But I'll start looking at solutions on how to uh, attack such a unit. Looks like we need Flash. Shenanigans. <laughs> Oof. But uh, that's okay. Veronica gets hit one shot by Naga. That's actually surprising to me to see. But uh, I guess. Oh, she had AR, AR attack offense. ARO attack speed. So I guess that makes sense. But it's strange to see. Oh no, left the suicides here and to Vector. Yeah. And we have Saros, but at this point, I know that Saros can't beat Gustav. And that's what we get here. A lot of people are preparing to use Brave Hector as their far safe unit. And that's not a bad idea. I might consider doing that in the future, but I would have to get a Henry at myself. And Ayas is probably going to be uh, providing the solution to this pretty soon as well. That is my assumption, at least. Let's see. So, oh. Oligan decides to go for Plumeria, even though he's out of range. Know the strength of Asker. Whoa, yeah, and the damage reduction didn't trigger there because he's not getting doubled. So it's just a clean hit. So good games to Lindis forever. And then we have... what do we have after Lindis? We have Cassie. So in this instance, we also have five units, and oh, haven't you haven't seen a Bride of Fjorm in a while? I can see how Lynn does that. Uh, we have Lumeria, Branya plus ten, nice, and Flame and Regan, Regan plus two. Yeah, haven't seen a Branya in a while either, but she's still very good. Um, at least that is my. My take on that, right? And since they don't bring any debuffs, then Veronica will be attacking directly into Leon. And, uh, yeah. 
They also have safe defense, and they're just going, just going for it. They probably just know they can do that. I don't really suggest safe defense. It's, it's not bad, but it's a tool that lets you engage better on either us uh, on Gale Force strats. It's that's my opinion on that. And here, wait, doesn't Celica beat that? Oh. Lemire does have the color advantage, but I thought that she could pierce a lot more through her defense. I shall stop you. Well, actually, if she got um, dance, that could potentially happen. Oh, but uh, Eldigan just comes in and does that instead. Never mind, never mind. They do lose one unit at this point, but it looks like they're okay with it. They're losing the just losing the 20 the full team bonus, which is plus 20. And that's a good cleanup. But our healing tower is almost maxed, if not maxed. So they just get almost healed to almost everyone gets healed to full health. I will face my yeah. <laughs> Ryan is gonna take this. And this will do a lot of damage too, right? Yeah, that's very close. Lyph almost kills her. Uh, and she's in a danger zone, potentially? Hmm, I see. They get her out of the way. Uh, Silica should be able to do something. Oh, no. Oh, well. Yeah, Mirabilis, die. Mirabilis dies, and Regan should be able to clean up Celica. Then from there, they can just get to clean up and uh, make Saros chase them down, right? Also, talking about um, mythics and brave heroes, I just remember that we're going to get the next refine badge for the brave heroes coming in next month. Aren't you guys excited? <laughs> I know I am. I look forward to them. I'm going to stop you. And oh, they decided not to go for the pots here. It's okay, a bit risky. But with that, we finish with Cassie. Then we have another Japanese player. Or a Japanese name. We can't really know if it's a Japanese player, right? Hmm. This is, looks like a very offensive. Gale Force team from the top of my mind. So, hmm. Edelgard does transform. Reposition Naga. I'm not sure. They are. Uh, oh, they have s safe defense to counteract that. Regan is there, and Racing is a uh, plus 10. So, let's see. So, yeah. Wow. They're going in for Gale Force strats, probably. I definitely would have taken Celica, too. And, oh, they actually can kill up, too. And they're Sack playing Ragan. It looks like it. But everyone else is probably safe. And Veronica is killing that. Oh, in that case, that won't happen. Yeah. They, so we do get two kills. At least so far. I wonder who else moves first. Oh, we do get three. I think it was... They need Wings of Mercy. I like the idea, but that made it hard to trigger. I don't know why they risked it. They could have potentially used the space on the right side to move their units. But after this, they probably can't clean up, right? Yeah. But I wonder if Saros will move first. Oh no, she will move last because she's the seventh new, uh, the seventh unit on the slot. 
unfortunate. Oh, wait. That is strange. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Usually they move by slot order, unless there's other variables that are coming into play. And they're left with two units. They can still win, but it looks... It looks hard. I would not take this. I wonder if they can get everything. Yeah, Adel, Fallen Aelgard is doing that. And they kill Saros and they're preparing to tank everyone else. Yeah, oh my. Hmm. Four units is a high score loss. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to play with that. And this should kill Mirabilis. Since dancers can't dance each other, that's why she attacks, right? And that should be it for our friend. Oh, they're actually trying to get a pot. Okay. So they're going for pots. In a chase down situation, but here Eldigan is probably going to reach them. I don't, I highly doubt they will be able to get another pot. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to. They get one pot and four unit loss. Um, alright, and then we have three more. Michael? All of these players beat us. Wow. Another Bridal um, Bjorn. We have uh, Bridal Micaiah, Bjorn, Bridal Katria, so quadding everywhere. Hmm, I don't see any uh, Wings of Mercy. Oh, Plumeria has one, but that's normal. Sheeta. Yeah, this looks like a Gale Force team. Of sorts. So, turn one, they're clearing absolutely everyone. I believe Sheeta, or Sheeta on the far right is going to reposition, yes. I'm going this should kill. Yeah, that's a good engagement. This is a... I would call this a proper use of the uh, safe defense. Especially since they're cleaning up. Maybe I should go for a more offensively oriented team at this point. But I would need something that can be uh, savior balls. Uh, like flash and a weapon would be very good. But it seems uh, pr problematic. It's hard to get that. That's what I'm trying to say. Also the bonus from... Oh, they're going for Celica. So it was hit and run. Not Gale Force. But it could have worked. Whoa. Wait. Doesn't Mikhail lose this? Oh, she has the effect of doubling. I forgot. The doubling effect from Katria. I'm right here. Right here, yeah. Mikhail should win this. It's quite impressive, actually. And we probably know what happens after this, right? Right here, just a chase down situation where they're trying to get the pots. I wonder if they attack Saros first. Yeah, trying to go for Saros. Um, but they hit the, the trap. I'd, intuitively, I would actually also think that's the fake trap, right? Uh, no. It is a real one. And Eldigan is going in. Yeah. Oh. They're taking in all the damage. But it's honestly fine. And since they have Wings of Mercy, they can probably just get Micaiah in. Yeah, do something like that. And yeah, that he'll survive one hit to tell the tale. And then get obliterated with Moombo. Oh no, that'll be like 100 plus. Oh, oh, almost, but not quite. Um, 
Yeah, good games to Michael. We have you, Dr. Sprite. Oh, we have another defensive team. But Rile for Yorm again. Uh, we have Fallen Leon, Merge plus one. Inivir at plus one. Dragon, Altina, Naga. Looks like a lot more teams are ready for this type of team already. It is very common too. But you can see it there. And yeah, Leon is made for this type of encounter. So he beats Veronica. And Lyph will probably hit Guinevere, so double tanks. It's, yeah, Guinevere is an amazing unit to have the tank too. And she, we recently got like a, two banners, right, for her? Looks nice. And there we go. After this, it's a pretty much clean up at this point. So, thank you everyone for watching the replays, right? Uh, I'll start saying my closing since we're almost at the end of the replays. That uh, it. Been a harder week. This means uh, players are loving lot their level of play. Uh, quite a few more people are using the safety defense better than I expected them to. Um, where that means more competition, but also being careful, right? So I'll have to start approaching other units in other ways. Be more careful, per se. Did she have killed Saros? Yeah, since Guinevere will probably have more res than Saros and go through her damage reduction anyways. And Leon will almost one-shot Eldigan. Sorry about that. <laughs> and yeah. They won, but they didn't take either pot. Since it's at the end of the season, that's probably it. And Cat Jam? What? What's that? This is the last one. They have all three struck oh, a lot of space. This looks like Gale Force written all over it. Yeah, it's Gale Force, definitely. Yeah, they even invested into Wintina to win the Mercy. They also seem to understand how the AI works based on their positioning on turn one. Oh man. Leia's able to kill Liv. That's actually a smart play. And since Edelgard can go in. Oh, one shot Celica? Man, this procs Gale Force so she can Gale Force again. Oof. <laughs> Fortunately, this was outside of uh, Lifla. Um, this wasn't Lifla's period, right? And yeah, it's pretty much cleaned up after this, probably. A lot of damage, but not enough to kill her. Leia's also still great. I actually just got an extra copy, so I plus one her. She's so good, but oh, I forgot I had to train her. I'll do that later. Right after this, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and possibly subscribe, right? <laughs> and if you would like to watch more content, I will be streaming on Twitch uh, every day, Monday through Thursday, uh, Pacific time between 1 and 3 p.m. Usually, that's my that's my schedule no mostly. Uh, yeah. Oof. That's it for Liv. That's his bonus season right there. The end. <laughs> yep.
Yep. Thank you for watching guys. Have a wonderful day. Uh, hope you take care and that's it. Bye! See you on Twitch!